this is the new DJI Mavic Mini, and as you can see, it's a really tiny drone. It's, it's DJI's first drone for 2019. Uh, it's an incredibly small drone, very lightweight. It's only 249 grams, uh, and that's its takeoff weight, which means you can fly it in a lot of places, including the US, without getting it registered first. That's really good news for people who want to just casually fly a drone and don't feel like registering with the FAA. The Mini does look like a smaller Mavic Air, but don't expect that drone's features. This is actually more like DJI's little Spark drone, but it folds. To get the weight down, the Mini doesn't have any extra sensors for obstacle avoidance or recognition, so you'll have to learn how not to crash this one on your own. I got to fly it for a few minutes, and it's just as easy and responsive as DJI's other Mavic drones, and since it's smaller, you can fly it in tighter spaces. It's also really quiet. I was standing within a few feet of it, uh, having a conversation without shouting or having problems hearing. Less noise and a small size will make this a better choice for more discreet, inconspicuous flying, kind of like the difference between shooting pictures with your phone instead of a large SLR. The controller is compact, like the drone, uh, but you do have controls for the camera in back, including a tilt dial so you can point it 90 degrees straight down, straight ahead, or anywhere in between. The camera is a step up from the Sparks. The Mini can shoot video at up to 2.7K at 30 frames per second and 12 megapixel photos, and it's on a three-axis motorized gimbal, so you'll still get the smooth video and stable pictures as you would with any other DJI drone. Also, there's a new streamlined app for the Mini uh, that gets rid of a lot of the on-screen stuff, so it's a little less confusing. You can just focus on getting the shots you want. And you still get features like active track for following subjects and then those pre-programmed cinema shot modes for dronies and such. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought for sure the battery life would be down around 15, 20 minutes, but DJI says flight time is up at 30 minutes on its small battery pack, which actually makes up about 100 grams of its 249 gram takeoff weight. DJI has some accessories coming for the Mavic Mini also, uh, and that includes a desktop charger that looks a bit like a desktop specimen display, and stickers that you can add on, and a little LED message board. Basically, the Mavic Mini is going to walk that line between a little backyard flyer and a more serious camera drone. So the basic package for the Mavic Mini is going to be $400, and that includes a battery and a controller. Um, and it'll be out uh, just in time for the holidays on November 11th.